Hello there, this is Rahul and as you might have seen onto the screen, today we are going to talk about Terraform templates. As you can see on the drawing board, we are just going to cover the six points in today's session. So we will first start with what is Terraform template and what's the importance of Terraform template is. Also, we are going to see like how to create a Terraform template and what are the extension by which you can save your Terraform template. And also we are going to have a look on to where to put your Terraform template in your project and how to call a Terraform template inside your Terraform script. And at last we are just going to perform a demo where we are going to set up a Terraform template and using that template we are just going to set up AWS IAM user and the different role associated with that user. To start with, let's first try to answer the question what is Terraform template. So as you can see over here, I have taken a very basic example and here I have taken a word template. So I'm just trying to explain the concept of a template first. So here you can see uh, this is a very standard template which is used for preparing the later. So here you will find the placeholder for your name. So you can enter your name over here. Similarly here you can enter your street address, city, zip code and here also you will find a placeholder for that company uh, again city and zip code. So this is a pretty much standard template in the Word, uh, MS Word, which you can use for writing or preparing the letter. So you don't need to create this design every time you need to write a letter. You can simply reuse this template and generate hundreds of letters. Now you might be wondering, like, do we have a very simple example to see the Terraform template? So here you can see on the drawing board, I have taken a very basic example uh, to show a Terraform template. So here you can see uh, this is a Terraform template which is we are using to create a bash file. So this is a typical bash, bash file syntax and here you will see a placeholder. So the placeholder over here is this one which is like a dollar sign curly braces and inside there is a variable. So that variable name is console address. So this is actually a placeholder where actual value will be inserted. Okay, so this is a, a typical or the smallest uh, template file which I have found over here to show it to you so that you can understand uh, how the Terraform template looks like. Secondly, uh, the extension, like how you're going to save your Terraform file. So here you will see, so this is the name of the file and if you look carefully over here, then this is an extension that is .tpl. So this is the extension uh, by which we save our Terraform template. Also, there is a one more popular extension for storing the Terraform file that is TFTPL. So this is, I have written it over here. So you can save your Terraform template using this extension also. Let's take a one more example to show you the Terraform template. And this time I'm just going to take an example of a JSON template. So here on the screen, you can see a JSON file, but this is not a JSON file. This is a JSON template, which we will be using inside our Terraform code. And also this is the same template I will be using in the demo into the letter session. Okay, so uh, in the file, if you look carefully, then you will notice a placeholder. So this is a placeholder and this placeholder will be used to generate the EC2 policy name. So this is the value we will be passing later into the demo. So there we will insert some actual policy names over here. So this is a one more example on how to create a, J a Terraform template. All right, so now you're familiar with the concept of a Terraform template and you have seen a couple of examples of a Terraform template file. Now let's see the project structure of a Terraform and where you can place your Terraform template file. So here you can see over here, this is my uh, main Terraform file and along with that I'm putting my Terraform template file over here. So you can place your Terraform uh, template in parallel to your main Terraform file. But you need to specify the path when you're trying to use the Terraform template and this which we are going to see later into the demo. So this is how you're gonna uh, put your template uh, file. So similarly, I have some more projects over here. So you will notice this is our main.terraform file and this is our template file. And here, this is a one more uh, template file with the extension tftpl. So, and here, this is our main.terraform file. So this is uh, a typical structure on how you are going to create your main.terraform file and how you are going to put your template file inside the Terraform project. So this was the intro part of a Terraform template. Let's switch over to desktop and see some demo in action. Before we jump into the demo, I have prepared a readme file over here. So let's have a look onto that file first. 
So in the readme file, you will notice I have taken some code snippet on how to call a Terraform template. So let's have a look into more details. So here you will see this is the resource which I have created. So this is a typical syntax which is provided by a Terraform to use the Terraform template. So what you need to do, you need to write a resource and the resource name should be template file. After that, you need to put the name of that resource. So here I have named the resource as a policy. So this is a user defined name. You can keep any name of your choice. Second, you need to define the path from where you will be importing or using the Terraform template. So here you can see this is the variable that is template and this is the name of the file or the uh, file path where our template file is available. So if you go over here, so here our main.tf and uh, here you will see that I'm using the same thing over here and this is my template file which is just present parallel to our main.terraform. So this is a typical syntax which you need to use and if you look carefully, so this is our policy and here I'm using the variable as name. So this is a placeholder for our Terraform template and uh, if you go back to our main.tf file, so here I'm passing that variable. So this is the value which I just wanted to insert inside my Terraform template. So this is over here. So if you open again, so there is also one more thing which is important. So this is the name of the variable. So as of now, I have kept the variable name as name and that should be same inside your Terraform template because that is the placeholder by which you are going to pass that value and that value will be inserted into this Terraform template. Coming back to the readme file and the next syntax which I would like to show you is the template file function which is also provided by Terraform. So here you will notice uh, this is a template file function which I am using over here and in this function you need to pass two things. So the first thing is the template file, the path of the template file and the variable name. So this variable name can be a single variable or it can be a list or it can be a map. So you can uh, pass those variables over here. This could be the second parameter of our template file function. And one more thing, uh, this particular resource, the template file resource has been deprecated into the Terraform. So this is not recommended to use anymore, but instead you can use the data source for uh, implementing the same feature. Uh, you can check the data source tutorial, which I have uploaded previously onto my Terraform playlist. Alright, so now I am assuming that you are a bit familiar with the Terraform template file function and the resource template file. So let's have a look like where you can use this uh, Terraform template inside your Terraform template configuration. So here, the first thing which I have said over here is the locals. So if you create Terraform locals, then also you can use this uh, template file function inside that locals. Similarly, if you create a data source or data block, then also it is possible to use inside uh, that data block of Terraform. And uh, also one more thing, if you are creating an, uh, any resource or AWS resource, so let's say for example, a AWS IAM policy or EC2 instance or S3 bucket, that it's also possible to use this template file function inside those resources. So as you can see, uh, the template file function is pretty generic and it can be used in most of the resources which is provided by Terraform. All right, let's take our first example and here you will find this is our main.terraform file and here I'm creating the template file resource, not template file function. So here I'm just creating a template file resource and here I'm mentioning the path of my Terraform template and the variable name. Switching over to my terminal, the first command which I would like to run is the terraform init command. And after the ter terraform init command has successfully finished, let's run the next command that is terraform plan. And as you can see, I have already told you that template file resource has been deprecated by Terraform, but still we can use it. I'll clear the screen. The next command I'm just going to run is Terraform apply. And here you can see uh, the output which we get over here is the policy for Rahul Pa. So if you go back to our policy.tpl, so here policy for this is the text which I have hard coded and the value of the variable that is my name. Talking about our next example where we will be using template file function inside our data source block. So this is the directory where my main.terraform file is present. So just open it. So here you can see this is our data source block and here I have used the template file function. And remember, you need to specify the path as well as the variable name over here. And again, I have, def I have defined this as a inputs inside my data source block. Let's switch over to the terminal and run some Terraform commands. 
So this is my terminal and the first command which I'm going to run is terraform init and after it successfully run the next command which I'm going to run is terraform plan and uh, yeah it's also successful the next command which I'm going to run is terraform apply. And here you can see this is the output which we are getting policy for Rahul Vag data source example. And if you open the our data source main.tf file, uh, it should be here. So here you can see data source example. So it is the correct output which we are getting uh, when we run the Terraform apply command. Now talking about the next example, now we are going to call a template file function inside the Terraform local. So as you can see over here onto my IDE, so this is my locals block of Terraform and here I'm using the template file function and as I have already told you, you need to specify the path as well as the variable name. So here the variable name I have using my name along with just to identify that I am calling the correct Terraform template or the Terraform uh, main file. So here I have added a locals just to differentiate from my previous example. Let's switch over to the terminal and run some Terraform commands for this example. So this is my terminal and the first command which I'm going to run is terraform init and it's successful. I'll clear the screen. The next command which I'm going to run is terraform plan and that's also successful. I'll clear the screen and the final command which I'm going to run is terraform apply. Type yes over here. And as you can see, this is the output which I am getting policy Rahul Vag dash local. So that's the value which I have provided into the variable. So this is how you can use the Terraform template file function inside your local. And in the previous example, we have seen how to use it inside our data source block. All right, so now you have a familiarity with the Terraform template file and how to call that template file inside your Terraform configuration. So now we will take a very real example where we will be setting an IAM user and we will be setting the policies for that particular user and all the things which we will be doing through our Terraform template. Okay, so here you can see on my ID. So this is under AWS IAM policy directory and this is my main.tf file and there is a user policy.tftpl that is a Terraform template we will talk a little bit later. So let's have a look on to the code. So here, first of all, if you're working with the AWS, then you need to define the provider. So which I have done it over here. Then I need to create a IAM user. So that's why I'm going to use the resource that is AWS IAM user over here and the name, which is a user defined name. So I just put it as a test user, but the name of the actual user is the test Terraform user. So this user will be get created inside our AWS cloud. All right. Secondly, we need to define the access key. So here I'm using the resource because access key is needed to generate the access key and the secret key for that particular user. So this is the resource for that. And I have mentioned the step number one over here because before we actually use a Terraform template, I just wanted to show you the code if we don't use the Terraform template. So now, what we have done so far, we have defined the provider, we have created, uh, we have added the resource for creating a user and we have added a resource for generating the access key and the secret key. And now we need to define the policies for that particular user. And remember, we are not using Terraform template over here. So what we will do, we will just use the resource I am user policy. And here we are just going to use the same user which we have created. So I am user test user dot name. So it should be similar to I am user test user and the name. So we are referring to the same user which we have just created over here. And then here we are just defining the policies. So here you can see I have hard coded these policies over here. So what will happen? It will create a user, it will generate access key and secret key, and it will attach these policies to that particular user. And everything is done and this is done via hard coding it. There is no problem with it. So what we will do, let's run this example without using Terraform template and this is my terminal. And uh, remember, I'm just skipping the Terraform init and Terraform plan command because I have already run it just to save the time. So I'm just gonna run the command Terraform apply and enter and type the value yes. And here you can see it has added three resources over here. Let's switch over to our AWS console and see that user has been created or not. So I'll just go to my browser and this is my IAM section of my AWS account. So here you can see the test Terraform user has been created. And if we uh, open the policies, then these are the policies which has 
which we have assigned to that particular user. And remember, everything which we have done, it's done via hard coding everything into our main.tf file. Okay, now we have seen the example without Terraform template. I'll just uh, run the Terraform destroy command to destroy everything over here. And then we will be using the Terraform template to implement the same thing using uh, our template file. So as you can see on my AWS console, that uh, resource or that particular user which I have created has been destroyed or deleted. So let's switch over to our IDE and see the example once again. So this was the step one. I just mentioned it uh, because I will be commenting this resource block again because this is where I have not used the Terraform template. So let's uh, comment out this section over here and uh, till here and then enable this particular second step over here. So I'll just enable it. And here, there is a one thing which I'd like to mention over here that I'm using a Terraform template now. So here, this is the template file. And previously, if you notice, we have not used anything over here. Okay, that's fine. So here, I'm using the template file function. I'm specifying the path of the template file, which is uh, present inside my project. So here, if you go into this uh, directory, AWS IAM policy, this is my main.tf file, and this is my user policy template file. So this is the typical template file, which is needed for assigning the policies to that particular user. So here, uh, this is the template and here, this is our placeholder. So where we will be putting our values. All right. So one thing also, which I would like to mention that whenever you create a AWS policies, then that, that should be created into the JSON format. So that's why uh, this is a typical JSON format structure. And I have told you into the introduction, introduction session that we will be using this template later. So this is the same template, uh, which I have shown you earlier. So since it is in a JSON format, so we have to use the JSON encode function. Otherwise, you will not be able to render those value into the JSON format. So here, I'll be using the JSON encode function. And inside that, I'll be passing the variable name that is EC2 underscore policies. And if you go back to our main.tf file, so this is our uh, template file function. This is the path which you have just seen. And this is our variable that is EC2 underscore policies. So this is the same variable which we are using over here along with our JSON encode function so that it can generate the policy into the JSON format. So this is the change which I have done and uh, these are the policies which I'll be passing over here. So this is how I'm just gonna change my existing hard-coded EC2 policy and using the template and passing those as a variable. Let's switch over to the terminal and uh, run some Terraform commands onto this example. So this is my terminal over here. So the first command which I'm just gonna run is terraform init and I'll clear it after successful running. The next command which I'm gonna run is terraform plan. And as you can see, it is trying to add the three new resources. That's fine, I'll clear it again. And the final command which I'm gonna run is terraform apply. Type yes over here. And as you can see, it has created the three resources. So let's switch over to our desktop and uh, refresh this page over here. And here you can see the test Terraform user has been created. And if you open that particular user and go to the policy section, then these are the policies which has been added over here. So this is how you can uh, implement the Terraform template file function and you can create your own template. Uh, well, this is a very basic example which I have taken, but you can automate this example or you can just take the reference of this example to implement a Terraform template file function for your complex business functionality. Uh, one more thing uh, in this example, the improvement which you can implement is here is still I'm hard coding the policies inside my Terraform file. So my recommendation over here is to move this section or this comma separated values, the EC2 policies into a variable file so that you can gather it of all of these things and you can insert some variable over here. So that what it will do, it will reduce the size of your main.terraform file and it will look more readable. And that way you can improve your code a little bit more. So that's something you can do. Uh, I think the implementation of this thing into the locals or variables is pretty easy in Terraform. So that's the improvement which I would suggest on this particular example.
So I hope you liked the today's session on Terraform template and if you have any questions or suggestions then please put down into the comment section and I'll try to answer those. And you can find the same content on my DevOps blog which I'll be updating later after preparing this session. So you will find all this instruction and the GitHub link into the description section along with the blog post with the detailed steps. So you can go there and follow all these things and uh, let me know if you have any questions or some uh, is related to the today's session. So see you into the next session of our Terraform or DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.